So before we get started writing serious SQL queries, we need to get a couple of small details out of the way first. Namely, how to save your code to a file, and how to open files that you or someone else has saved. This last item will be particularly important as you use the example files and exercise files throughout the course. So first up, let's write a little code so we can save it to a file. So first, open up a new editor window by clicking New Query, and type select hello world with hello world in single quotes, like so. And now we'll click Execute to make sure that it runs, and it does. Now let's say we want to save this code so that at some point, even after we shut down our computer and restart it, we could pull up this exact query that we just wrote. Well, we need to save this query to a, to a file, like you'd save a Word document or a, or a spreadsheet or anything else. So to do that, you just need to click File, and then Save As, and in this case I'll just save it to my desktop. And you need to choose a name, I'll just pick uh, Hello World, naturally. And you see that the type, the file type chosen by Management Studio by default is a .sql file. And that's what you're going to use the vast majority of the time. I can't really recall a time I ever saved a SQL file as anything other than a .sql extension. There are other options down here. For example, you can save as a, as a text file, but the SQL file is what you're going to want to do the vast majority of the time. So if we click Save, now that code has been saved to a file that we can later reopen from Management Studio. So let's actually try to do that. First, we'll close the editor window and close the file. And now to reopen it, we just click File, Open, File, and then we just select the Hello World file where on our desktop where uh, our the the file explorer was already navigated to and then click open and there's our query so now that we've reopened the file let's make a change and save it so let's say we're super excited about learning sql and we add want to add some enthusiasm to our query maybe with a, an exclamation mark after hello world so now it's kind of shouting at us so to save this to the file you can either Hit the save icon right here. Kind of looks like an old school floppy disk if you're if you're old enough to remember those. Or you can go file, save. But my preference, personally, is to use a keyboard shortcut, Control S. It's a little faster and easier, and as many times as you're going to be saving files, I, I recommend it. I don't personally memorize a ton of keyboard shortcuts. But this is one that you'll probably want to be familiar with because if you're smart, and I know you are since you bought this course, you're going to want to save your code often. A few things in life are more frustrating than making a lot of progress on some code you were writing only to see it wiped out when SQL Server Management Studio or even your computer crashes. Alright, so that's it for this one. Now that we know how to save code that we've written, let's dive into actually writing some code worth saving in the next video. I'll see you then.